Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at the Wyeck Core Mathematics Past Questions and Answers, where we'll be looking at the SSE 1997 question number two. All right, so the SSE 1997 question number two, this was the problem that came for them as at that time. So without using tables or calculators, we are to simplify the following expressions. So we are to evaluate what we have over here and simplify it. And then B, we are also to evaluate this expression that we have over here. So let's go ahead straight to look at the solution to this problem. Now for A, we have one whole number, 2 over 7 minus 1 over 3 multiplied by one whole number, 3 over 4. So now to solve this kind of expressions, first of all, we need to change the mixed fraction into improper fraction. We do that by using the whole number over here. So the one over here multiplied by the denominator, which is seven. So one multiplied by seven plus the numerator. So one multiplied by seven is seven plus two give us nine. So we now have nine over the denominator minus one over three here multiplied by, we do the same thing to this guy. So one multiplied by four will give me four plus three is seven. So I have here seven over four. So this is equal to, I have two fractions that are subtracting each other. So I need to find LCM for them. So the LCM for seven and three is 21. Seven will go into 21 three times. Three multiplied by nine will give me 27. Minus three will go into 21 seven times. Seven multiplied by one, this is seven. So multiplied by, I still maintain this guy, seven over four. So this is equal to, 27 minus 7 will give me 20 on 21 multiplied by 7 on 4. So from here, if you look through well, 4 will go into itself 1 to go into 25 times. 7 will go into itself 1 to go into 21 3 times. So after cancelling, we have 5 on 3 multiplied by 1 on on 1 and this is equal to 5 multiplied by 1 will give me 5 3 multiplied by 1 will give me 3 so this becomes my answer okay or it is ideal when you are doing what's the past questions if you have a fraction like this if you can convert it to an improper fraction sorry mixed fraction do it so this is equal to 3 will go into 5 one times, it will be left with 2 divided by 3. So this is our final answer. Okay, whether this or this, any of them, is your answer. But it's preferred if you leave it as, an, uh, as a mixed fraction. So one whole number, 2 over 3, is our answer for the first question. All right, let's go ahead and look at the B aspect of this question. So B, the expression we had in B was 7.25 multiplied by 0 0.16 squared all over 0 0.004 alright so we are to solve this expression without using any calculator or tables to do that we first of all need to rewrite this expression in doing that we have 7.25 multiplied by 0 0.61 squared is equal to 0 0.16 multiplied by another 0 0.16 again all on 0 0.004 okay so from here we can now rewrite everything over here into standard form so if we do that we have 725 we move the dot over here two times so we move the dot one two so it becomes times 10 to the power negative two multiplied by over here we have 0 0.16 it becomes 16 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 because we move the dot 1 2 before we get a 16 the same thing over here so we have 16 times 10 to the power minus 2 all over here we have 4 multiplied by 10 to the power 1 2 3 so it becomes negative 3 over here okay so now from here all we need to do is to try to simplify one of these expressions so we do our multiplication easier. 
so 4 will go into itself once it will go into 16 this 16 over here 4 times so that makes our multiplication easier so we have 7 2 5 multiplied by the 4 over here multiplied by the 16 over here Sixteen over here, then multiplied by ten raised to the power. We have ten raised to the power minus two here, multiplied by another ten raised to the power minus two, multiplied by another ten raised to the power minus two. So it becomes minus two plus minus two plus minus two all over the denominator. We only have one multiplied by ten raised to the power minus three. Alright, so from here we proceed. So we have 725 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 16. So let me point that quickly into my calculator. So I have 725 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 16. And that would give me 46,400 times 10 raised to the power. Yeah, minus 2. Plus minus 2 plus minus 2 will give me minus 6. All divided by 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 at the base over here. Now if you look at this, 46,400 divided by 1 will give me 46,400 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 6. If we are sending this 10 raised to the power minus 3 to the top, because of the division sign, the division sign becomes minus. And then we send the minus 3 to the top, so it becomes minus 3 over here. So this is equal to 46,400 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6. Negative, negative becomes positive, so it becomes plus 3 over here. So this is equal to 46,400 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3. So this is equal to, from here, we try to rewrite this very well. So Minus 3 means we moved the dot to the right hand side 3 times. So if we want to convert it back into whole numbers, we need to move the dot, which is uh, at the last end of this 0 over here 3 times. So it's 1, 2, 3. So our answer becomes 46.4 as our final answer. Since we were not asked to leave the answer in standard form, this is our answer. But if the question demand we leave our answer in standard form, then it means you will have to move the dot okay so let's say the question says we leave our answer in standard form then it will be but this is our final answer for this problem but if the question say leave your answer in standard form leave your answer in standard form it means from here we have four six four zero zero and ten to the power minus three Okay, let me stand up from here. Then this will be equal to. I need to move the the point to come in between four and six. So it becomes four point six four times ten raised to the power. If we move from the right hand side to the left hand side, it's positive. So one, two, three, four. It becomes positive four times ten raised to the power minus three, and this is equal to four point six four times 10 raised to the power here will become 4 plus minus 3 which is also like this so this is equal to 4.64 times 10 raised to the power 1 as our answer so this becomes our answer if we are to leave this in standard form all right so but for this problem this is our answer our answer is 46.4 so this is our answer so Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.